Hi, my name is Ted. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about something a little bit different. Now, usually, I like to talk about the world of faith, healing, and what goes behind the scenes, how it works, how it doesn't work, and stuff like that. But today, I want to talk to you about something different, something near and dear to me, because it's in the news this week, and this is something from my own past. John Steingart is in the news this week because he sent out a message on Instagram claiming that he no longer believes in God. CBS, ABC, CNN, USA Today, Fox News, other media outlets throughout the world, and even, get this, TMZ have been covering this. All right. I want to talk about John today because at one time I knew him and a few years back I actually lived one week with him and his band, the rest of Hawk Nelson, on their bus, going on tour with them. Not that I was doing anything on the tour except hanging out. I'll explain that in a minute here. First of all, who is Hawk Nelson? Well, Hawk Nelson is a Christian pop punk rock band. At least it was punk back then. In the past, several Christian rock artists have left the faith, but I don't think any of them got the attention that John is getting. And I ask myself, why is John getting so much attention? All this attention really does kind of surprise me, but I think part of the reason that this is happening is because it's touching a nerve with a lot of people today. John sang for a band that ministered to different types of evangelicals. And people outside the faith see evangelicals more and more as a political movement and less and less as a faith movement. People within the community are facing a new cultural change taking place all around them especially as they see different cultures and different peoples from, and hear different things that they haven't been given for years and years and years, and all of a sudden it's on the internet, everything that you can think of and imagine. And it could very well be that young people especially are facing a crisis this day. I don't know. I don't know if he's touching that nerve or not. Perhaps he represents a lot of young Christians facing a lot of questions. Nevertheless, I am surprised of all the attention he is getting, and I'm also surprised by the response he's getting from a lot of Christians and people who sing in other bands, Christian bands. But before I get into that, let me tell you how I got to know John. During my college years, my daughter, my college years, during my daughter's college years, Lene, that's her name, L-E-N-A-Y, she dated Jason Dunn, who was the singer for Hawk Nelson at that time. Hawk Nelson had just become a popular band in the evangelical community, working with Disney and touring throughout the United States and in the world. Uh, now, when Lene began dating Jason, John Steingard was the guitarist in the band, she married Jason, and the two went to Nashville. But their, during their dating and during their marriage, I saw the band a lot, quite a bit, going to several different concerts and hanging out backstage in their bus, in their home, going here and there. And around that time, I was invited to join the band for one week while they're on tour, just to watch, just to hang out. And it was fun. Eventually, Jason moved on and left the band, and the band put Jonathan as their lead singer. They also changed their music style during that time. This week is filled with stories of violence in Minneapolis, not so far from where Lene and Jason used to live, at least for a short time during their early years of marriage. The riots dominate the news, but for some odd reason, John's confession is spreading around the media as well. Now, I've been following and reading a lot of articles about this and what people are saying. One of my favorite articles is by one man who 
wrote an article stating he knows exactly what the problem is with John. He says in his article, whenever somebody turns atheist, the first question I ask them, are you into porn? They always say yes. His next question, are you sleeping with your girlfriend? They always say yes. John, I know why you're doubting now. You're sleeping with your wife. What the heck? Okay, enough of that. Just a random sampling of the comments that I'm reading. One person claims that John did not get a good enough course in apologetics. Maybe he didn't get any apologetics training, and that would be the solution. I taught a university course in apologetics, and I've studied them. But I will tell you this right up front. They have their limitations. You can learn how to defend your faith and argue for your faith and build a stronger logic around your faith. But they have their limitations. I don't have time to get into that right now. But I will say this. When I'm facing doubt, and I do, when I'm facing struggles, and I do, apologetics is not anything that has helped me out. All right. Another writes about Jonathan. The secular world always thinks love is acceptance. Not so. It's like a prodigal son. Tough love and forgiveness should the believer repent. I think what he's trying to say is that if John repents, his doubts will go away and he needs some tough love. Uh, another comment says, though the heart may be worn upon the sleeve, tattoos do not a musician make. <laughs> John, if you're listening, get rid of your tattoos and you get everything right again. Another writes, many years ago, a brother told me, don't listen to Christian music when I asked why. He said, they're notorious for unbelief. Another says, fame, fortune, but no Christ in Christian music. I thought they sang a lot about Jesus. Oh, well. Peter Cephas, I'm going to mention this guy's name because, because I do agree, and I like what he's saying. At least I like what he's saying. In questioning his faith, this young man will find his faith even deeper. He is actually examining things deeply, and he is admitting his struggles. When he emerges from this long, dark night of questioning, he will emerge into the light of an even greater love of God. Sometimes we have to go through the long, dark nights of struggling for deeper faith. A faith that we can own, and not a faith that we borrow from others. Another mentions, congratulations, John, for opening up your mind to the utter foolishness of religion. Another, to all you Bible scholars out there who have skillfully learned how to shoot the wounded with Scripture, please stay away from me and my family. You are no longer welcome. All right, I have a list, a whole list. I was going to read to you. Actually, I started reading them, and it just gets long and drawn out. But there are people from 10th Avenue North. These are bands, Christian bands, if you don't know who they are. Seventh Day Slumber, Jeremy Camp, Matt Hammett, Jordan Feliz, um, Love and the Outcome. Never heard of them. Uh, Josh Wilson. Uh, all of them send out their, their greetings to him. All of them basically saying, we support you. Uh, we love you. Can't wait to see you again. That kind of stuff. No, I'm sure they're. I'm not going to read into what they're saying, but I'm pretty sure that they're they're not saying we agree with you. We all want to become atheists, but no, they're just supporting him, loving him. Hawk Nelson's Facebook page. On it, band member Daniel Biro responded to Steingard's post. Forever grateful for these brothers of mine. We've been through some highs and lows. We've been through those together, and we share a very special bond that can't be broken. There are many seasons 
to a band as Hawk Nelson has experienced. But one thing that isn't seasonal is our support for one another on or off the road touring. God has a unique path for each of us, and it's important that we stay honest with each other. Looking forward to seeing how each of us continues to grow. Now, I was not all that close to John. I have talked to him on several occasions, many occasions. But I understand why so many people who knew him well support him. Even if they don't agree with where he's going. They support him because John is one of a kind. He is, to be honest, one of the most awesome, genuine, honest people I think I've ever met. And I'm grateful to have known him. And if John, if by any chance you're watching this, I want you to know you are awesome and my prayers are with you. This is Ted. Have a good day.